Welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young and if you're new here, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this beautiful tropical scene uh, with a sailboat and I'm going to go over the list of colors we're using right now and I'll have them down below in the description. We're working on an 11 by 14 stretched canvas today. This has been double primed. Um, here are the colors that we're going to be using today. We've got hooker's green or sap green, phthalo yellow green, titanium white, turquoise, light ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and we're also going to be using a little bit of Mars black. We're going to begin with the sky and then work on the water, build up to the sailboat, and finally the trees. So I like to use my large blending brush. This is a two inch and I just get this from a dollar store or hardware store and it will last you quite a long time. So you wanna just get your brush a little bit wet first. We're gonna take just a little bit of phthalo blue. Just a tiny bit like that. I'm gonna start along the top. And then I'm gonna go right in to my light ultramarine blue. I'm going to go over top partially, so I'm lining it halfway on the blue. And I'm going to leave a few areas for clouds. Then I'm going to just softly blend those two together. And that way I pick a little bit of it up on my brush again, this phthalo blue up here. And we're gonna come right down. This is where the horizon will be. You have your horizon line right here. So this is the water and then the sky here. So I'm gonna take, now that I've hardly got any paint on my brush, I'll take a little bit of white with a little bit of that light ultramarine blue. And I'm gonna begin Wiggling side to side quickly, and then I'm letting off on the brush. Just by moving around your brush like this. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of my phthalo blue, blend it slightly with that light ultramarine blue, and I'm going to pull and wiggle my brush and start making it go up on an angle like that so it looks like it's lifting up, creating a nice perspective and dreamy, sweepy looking sky. So I like to mix these two blues together, together because then you get that kind of multi-tone going on, which is really nice. You never want a boring, just one color sky. And if you're just learning how to paint, that's fine. And you just want to practice with a blue sky and then work on some clouds, that's fine. But as you get to be more of a confident painter and trust yourself a little bit more, and maybe you just want to explore a little bit more with color, then that's a nice thing to do is mix a few different colors together for your sky. It'll make it a lot more interesting. I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my brush, pull those two blues again, and I'm going to do a nice line right across, try to make that as straight as I can and just kind of eyeballing it. And wash that brush off and we'll switch over to a filbert brush. Now here we have a number 12 filbert. And we're gonna get it a little bit wet first and pull in some titanium white. Pull it onto our brush like that. And we'll start creating some pretty little clouds just by wiggling with our brush like this. Now when you're doing this, don't get caught up in thinking about each and every single blob you're making. Worrying, does this look like a cloud? That doesn't look right. Just make lots of little white blobs. 
and don't listen to that part of your brain that's saying that's not right, that doesn't look like a cloud. Just ignore that. That's the best advice I can tell you guys. We're our own worst enemies when it comes to creating sometimes. And you just really want to let go and get lost in something and enjoy yourself, especially right now when we're all in lockdown and it can be a little bit well, overwhelming. It's a really good time to start a new hobby and I've had a ton of new subscribers uh, join me recently because they want to learn how to paint. And it's a great time to do that if you're, you know, stuck at home. Why not make the best out of a bad situation? And this is a really healthy thing to do. This is really good for your brain. Learning something new, where, where it be art, music, writing, whatever you've thought about doing for a long time, it's a great time to do it now. So as I'm talking to you guys, I just keep picking up more white. Doing what we did down there, but just a little bit bigger. So just bigger white blobs that are starting to blend in with those blues that we have. Now I'll take a little bit more white and add it to just a few areas. I'm gonna have those nice bright white sails, so I don't wanna have anything um, competing with that. I'm just gonna smooth that out down there. Maybe we'll take a little bit of that light ultramarine blue, a little bit of phthalo, and add a little bit more color right in here. Take a little bit of water on your brush. So because acrylic paint can dry, it tends to dry quite quickly, doesn't it? And I get an awful lot of questions from you guys regarding that. Um, I don't use a slow drying medium, um, only because I don't want my acrylics to act like oils. I like to have the control over the drying time. Um, so if I want to extend the drying time, I just simply use a little bit of water and I'm not painting in a high heat area. Now some of you are joining me from hotter countries where you are, you have no control, right? You're just in a hot environment. So that might be um, a good time for you guys to look at getting a drying extender medium to add. I'm going to take a little bit more of my blue now and start adding some more depth where I want to. So right in there and right in here. Maybe a little bit in here. So I know I'm going to be having my sails and I want my sails to really show up so I'm going to need to create a little bit more contrast. So we want to darken the area that's going to be behind those sails and making it darker up here at the top of the sky or the top of the canvas gives your sky more perspective. It makes it brings this forward and that back so that you create distance. And we can add a little bit of white right up in here. Kind of just going in all different directions, flopping my brush around to create some just organic, unthought out designs because clouds just kind of go wild and free on their own so just create that by letting go of the control of the brush and create that movement that carefree movement in your paintings So we're going to have some shadows in the water and before I add the turquoise over top, that's going to be our last layer on the water, uh, we're going to have a little bit of an underpainting using some phthalo blue. So a little bit like that. 
and we're just gonna actually take a bit of we're gonna use both blues for this let's make a beautiful shadow color so we'll just have a few few little lines I can turn my brush over like this so maybe we want to make those a little bit softer looking let's see what we can do by adding a little bit of white okay I think that's a little bit better I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush not too much pick up a little bit more of that blue letting go letting off on the canvas and then we're gonna have a little shadow right underneath the boat take a little bit more of that blue skinny lines like that. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take a little bit more white and add some peaks. Now this is just personal preference. You don't have to do this. You can decide how many clouds, what types of clouds that you want. I'm going to want to create a little bit more wispiness in here. back to my clean large blending brush this one right here and I'm gonna very lightly barely touching that canvas pull up look to our sky even softer and the sky is far away okay so it's fairly dry enough that I think we can safely take our turquoise now Just like this a little bit of white with it and let's turn this into the Caribbean Line it up and pull across. Back the other way, pull across. Gonna take a little bit of white this time. So you're left with those shadows underneath. Wipe the excess of this turquoise off on a towel. And then I'm going to very lightly dust it over, brush a little bit right in here, very small amount. Okay, so we're ready for our boat. I've got a number six flat brush here. So I'm going to take a little bit of my black with my blue, get a nice rich dark color there, and we're just going to do a little line with a little scoop on either side. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my light ultramarine blue. Come down and over. Bring it down a little lower. Wipe the excess off. Take some of that blue, both blues and add our shadow in there again. Just a little line in the water like that. Go back to that dark color we made and just bring this up a little bit higher. Now 
a little bit of white, just maybe a little line across. Whoops. Try that again. There we go. Take a little bit of my turquoise and white. Clean my brush off first. And then right in here, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher, the water. Take that black and blue again. Maybe we've got somebody standing right here. So we'll just do a little line here for a little post he's holding on to, steering. And then just a little line across. Very impressionistic. You don't have to do very much to create that look. some more of those shadow lines. Remember just with a phthalo blue and white. I think this one's skinnier. I'm going to take a little bit of my white and turquoise more white though than the turquoise. And I'm going to add some little lines here for some reflections. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more white for that in order for that to work. back to my blue and my black and finish off this boat. A little across the top and then I'll get a little bit more on the end of my brush and then go across the bottom. We kind of lost that stripe, didn't we? So let's wiggle our brush, make sure you clean it first and get a little bit more of that white on there. Do a little line there. And then just bring it over. All right, time for our sails. So we're gonna take white, a little bit of blue. And it's gonna start from here, and then it's going to go on an angle, making it look a little bit wobbly and misshapen. So we're going to leave some spaces blue in here. And a few little dabs right in here. Okay, now let's take a little bit of our blue and our black with the white. Make sort of a slate blue grayish color. 
Let's make it a little, it's very subtle, so we'll just take a little bit more white with that. And we'll come up on an angle, flip and turn our brush. And we'll outline. Have it come up like that. So we feel that movement and that wind on the sails. A little bit more shadow in here. And a few little lines. These are just shadows from the ropes and stuff. Let's take that black again. Don't have to wash your brush off, just take a little bit of that. And right here at the bottom, on this side, we'll just bring that over. We'll add the post right here. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that actually. My phthalo blue. Have a little bit more shadows coming up here. And his arm comes out right like that. We're going to do tap, tap, leave a space, tap. Wash your brush out really well. Let's go back to our white. And let's slightly go over that, bring some white up here. between them. You can just even use like the corner of your brush like this. And then add a few more little highlights. trees and I'm going to use the same brush I just washed it off and I'm going to take my hookers green or sap green with black quite a bit on there and I'm just going to start fanning out some palms by sliding my brush side to side in a quick motion like this. And then you can just pull and flick. Let's put another one right here. We'll add a tree trunk right here, just a little line comes out. It's all in the flick of your wrist and the brush you're using. And we're going to give these a nice highlight pretty soon. 
with that phthalo yellow green or warm green. Maybe there's another palm tree up here and we can't see the whole thing, but we'll just paint a few of its leaves coming over the edge here. Okay, so now we can pick up our phthalo warm green or yellow green and we'll start to add some highlights. Wet on wet like this. here and add some to this big one coming down there. See what I did there? I picked up a little bit of this black purposely to bring that out into that one. And I'm loading my brush up by sliding and pulling like a little line of it. Okay, let's add some little highlights here. We'll just do a little bit. Maybe the sun is just hitting this one a bit. mix a little bit of white with my blue now. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit darker. A little bit darker. And I'm going to hold that horizon line in again. I'm going to take, wash my brush off first and then take some turquoise. partially on top of it, soften it, and now I'll take some of my light ultramarine blue, and I'm going to add it to some of the shadows here in the water. layer of this is going to be the final touch to this painting. I love this color over top of the blue for our shadows. I think it's just beautiful. Right above this horizon. scumble a little bit of that paint off pushing it down towards the horizon and we're all done I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this one today and learned a lot I want to wish you happy painting thanks so much for subscribing to my channel thank you to all of my patrons out there I couldn't do this without you guys I have brand new paint that I'm using today so thank you it's all because of you guys 
I will see you next time really soon in another video. Bye for now.